Good morning, folks. We've got several items to see today from space weather watches for the coming days to a brand new PACE data visualization, a climate-related story that made me laugh, and a weird one about Earth's magnetic field. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. There was an M-class solar flare, a plasma filament eruption, and the southern corona hole continues turning through heliographic longitudes. There are several sunspots on the disk now as well, so let's take a peek at the two items of note. First, top right, that departing plasma filament erupted pretty rapidly. This one obviously aimed about 90 degrees away from Earth. The other is on the south incoming. This active region produced the M-class flare and is clearly the most active region of the Earth-facing half of the sun at the moment. It has flare flashing and coronal jet activity and will be part of the eruptive watch as we enter the weekend and into next week. Folks, our eye candy today comes from PACE. This new data visualization is a two-parter and it includes information on several weather-related data sets visualized in very aesthetic colors from the oceans up to the top of the sky. The other thing they released was the aerosol mapper. This is pretty amazing. It covers carbon, sulfates, dust, sea salt pulled up by storms, and nitrates. Very impressive use of the new satellite data. It's highly sensitive not only to optical depth through the atmosphere, but what's causing that blocking. Link to this is found below. Up next, had a bit of a chuckle here. Oops, Greenland is a methane sink. Turns out that dry areas take in more than wet areas release, and that is very possibly the case everywhere in the polar region. This is poised to put quite the kink in the methane fear story. And last but not least, some of you might have seen this one on spaceweather.com. It is about a study that snuck past nearly everyone late last year. They suggest that the satellites in Earth's orbit may be reducing the Earth's magnetic field. Now, while the modern decline of that field has been happening for a very long time, way before satellites, and wasn't initially caused by this, there is certainly the chance that it could be exacerbated by this. It's probably the last thing Earth and its inhabitants need right now, at the moment as we are entering the next geomagnetic excursion. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.